We're in San Diego out at Bird Rock Coffee Roasters. I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, give us a little history of Bird Rock Coffee Roasters. Well, Bird Rock was a, uh, was a home roasting project first, started by our founder, Chuck Patton. Um, he was roasting out of his home and then taking coffee down to the local farmer's market. Um, and then he got an opportunity to start a cart and he started a little kiosk sort of thing. And then after that, it expanded into a, a location in Bird Rock. Um, and he took over and opened that space in 2005, I believe it was. Chuck uh, was a good coffee guy. He loved buying coffee and still does. He's actually still our coffee buyer. Yeah. Um, I bought the business from Chuck actually last January. Okay. Um, Chuck and I have been friends for about 10 years. And about eight years ago, I said to Chuck in passing, dude, if you ever want to sell your business, <laughs> I'd love to live in San Diego. And I totally said that tongue in cheek. Yeah. I mean, you don't just offer to buy somebody's business. I, had, I just threw it out there and then we both went on with our days. Eight years later, he called me wow. and said, I didn't forget, my wife and I are actually, we, we're ready now. <laughs> nice. And I was like, wow, and the timing couldn't have been better because my wife and I, Maritza right back here actually, my wife and I had just had a son. Um, and so it allows me to stay here and kind of do the dirty work. I get to do the office, <laughs> office work and the business growth and development part. Um, and then Chuck is still with the company and he's traveling buying coffee for us now. This is, the, this is one of our farms we work with. It's called Loma La Gloria. It's in El Salvador. Um, and this is a, a honey processed coffee. You can see it by the discoloration of the beans. Mm -hmm. um, honey processed, which means it's dried in the sun. So once you have it here, is it going? does it all go through the same roasting process or is it different? Well, the, each coffee will have a different roasting curve. Okay. Think of it in terms of uh, cooking. Mm -hmm. um, every steak you cook is maybe gonna cook just a little bit different depending on how thick it is. Sure. Right? Sure. Or how you might want it cooked. How long would it take for it to be done? This, this particular roast, roaster, this lowering roaster roasts in about nine minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty quick. That's really quick, yeah. okay. Once it's roasted, yeah. we would then take it to our quality control table, um, but we usually do that the next day, 24 hours later, okay. after the coffee's had time to degas. Gotcha. And then we'd go to the quality control table where my wife and I would um, cup coffees. Is this a daily process? Daily, every day. Already I smell the aroma yeah. going on here. So what are we gonna do here? Well, this is the great part. So it's very important you always have more than one cup. Why is that? This is called quality control. So you're checking for mistakes. If you only have one cup, you have nothing to compare it to. Uh, in the middle of the table right here, what, what are these? So this is coffee at different stages. Coffee starts as the fruit on a tree, a cherry. Yeah. You pick a cherry when it's ripe. A ripe burgundy red is what we go for. Then as it dries, if you, there, these are different processing methods. Wow, okay. Okay, so we would take the cherry, and you have to imagine this cherry is bright red. This one's actually dried. And so it's an overripe, think of a dried prune. Yeah. Right? That'd give you a same, similar visual. This one would be called natural. Okay. If you take the fruit off the tree and you dry it just like this, you'd have a naturally processed coffee. Okay. If you take the fruit off the tree, and now I'm gonna ask you to think in terms of a peach. Okay, mm -hmm. take the fruit off the tree and you remove the skin and most of the fruit pulp, yeah. and then you let it dry, you can get something like this. Interesting. Where you see okay. that, you can see that fruit pulp is dried onto the outside skin of the coffee. Sure. It's called sure. the pergamino or the parchment. Okay. And then this one is where there's a lot more fruit or pulp that's been left on the this, on this skin. Wow. So this one's gonna have an even stronger fruit forward flavor. Wow. Okay. Fascinating. And then this one, a washed coffee. And a washed coffee is, you take the fruit, fruit off the tree, yeah. and you would literally peel off the fruit, you peel off the pulp, you would put it in a fermentation tank and slowly but surely all that fruit would break down and then you would wash it away wow. and you'd be left with a clean coffee tasting like this one. And so, so each of these different processing methods produce different flavor notes. So what are we doing with these cups that are around the table here? So these are coffees that we've brought into our plant that we offer and then we roast these um, every day to fill our needs in our cafes. Okay. Okay. So each of these, you can see this one starting over here, you can see it clearly is a darker roast. Dark roast, yeah. You just told that side by side. As a comparison, you can see the darker, oh yeah, the darker elements. Very is quickly. this a lighter roast? What is this? This would be a lighter roast. Okay. Most of the coffees, 90% of the coffee we do is a light roast. So yeah. this is this part. What we're going to do first is we take the coffee that you just saw coming out of the roaster. For example, normally it'd be 24 hours. Yeah. So these are coffees that were roasted a little bit ago, not that particular roast. Gotcha. But you grind it and you put it into a little cup like this and then you're gonna take it and you're gonna smell what's called the fragrance, mm -hmm. okay? This is the dry fragrance. You're trying to you're, just take a, inhale it. Ooh, 
gently. Ooh. Depending on the coffee, you'll get different aromas. Now I'll take a fragrant tick tick and okay. smell that one. This is the dark roast this is right darker here. Darker roast. Oh wow. You see a big difference, yeah, don't you? Yeah, big difference. So Ooh. in the lighter roasted coffees, the darker one with the darker roasted coffee, what you're really smelling is roaster influence. Okay? Where this is more where these you're actually smelling more the terroir the coffee was grown in. Oh wow. And the variety of coffee that is grown that wow. it is. This is called fragrance. You would go down this in order and you go by each coffee and you would make notes on a sheet about the fragrance of the coffee. It'll change every few minutes. The flavor will change, the aroma will change. Um, it's like crazy. a constant process as the coffee changes. When we taste, when we cup, this is called cupping. When we cup coffees, yeah. we cup them from four minutes in until they're room temperature because the flavor changes through that whole process. So in 20 seconds, we're gonna break the crust, uh -huh. but you don't wanna stand up here and then break it, because yeah. as soon as you break, that's releasing the aromas. And if your nose is up here, you're gonna miss it. Gotcha. So you really, it is important you get right down here to it. There you go, rinse your spoon off. Oh my gosh. Always rinse your spoon, it's really important. Break the next one. It's called, this is called the break. Get your nose right down there. If we don't add any flavors to this coffee, it's more a matter of where this, the flavors of this coffee will hit your palate, might remind you of those notes. So then take a little spoonful, step back from the cup just a little bit, mm -hmm. and then... See, my mom told me not to do that, but she's not and here. cupping is prized. That's a good thing. Oh, you're pretty good at that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Now, why oh would you goodness. want to add cream to that coffee? <laughs> Never. <laughs> don't expect the same thing. Expect something different. And I bet we get it. Wow. If people want to come down here or and try the cupping out at Bird Rock, what are the locations again here in San Diego? Uh, we have Bird Rock, which is up by La Jolla, mm -hmm. in between La Jolla and Pacific Beach. Uh, we have Little Italy by the airport. And then we have this location, which is uh, in Linda Vista, um, in between Bayview. Bayview. Like Linda, Linda Vista. It's all on our website. You can see all the addresses. Bird Rock Coffee Roasters. All right, we're out. <laughs>